The Zach's rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zach's rank buys. Well, if you want to hear about a couple of aggressive growth stocks that may make for a good housing play, you've come to the right place because our aggressive growth strategist, Brian Bolin, is going to talk about exactly that, right? Exactly. This is a little different, though, because these are two companies that actually are in the supply chain to the builders. Exactly. I mean, we could take a look at a couple home builders just directly, but uh, these supply chain stories uh, look a little bit better to me right now. They both uh, are Zach's rank number ones, and they both have that very coveted A for growth style score. Okay, they make the doors and supply the lumber. They supply the lumber, so right. So let's start with uh, Louisiana Pacific, and that's uh, LPX if mm -hmm. you're keeping score at home. Uh, we can see it does have that Zach's uh, rank number one, which is a strong buy. Okay. It also has the growth style score of A. Uh, a B in value because, you know, I mean, we're trading at 15 times forward earnings, and that is really not that stiff of a multiple. Uh, again, this is kind of more of a sleepy uh, style company at only you know 3.4 billion in market cap. You know if they're cr if they're giving you the wood basically to to build the houses and they're the supply chain in mm -hmm. that regard. Mm -hmm. um, you know it's not the overly sexy name. But you can't build a house without wood. But exactly. Mm -hmm. You know unless you're. I mean you know, even I know that. Right. I mean. It would be a very cold steel environment, very right? Very drafty. Yeah. Right, and then the concrete. Right. So if we take a look here, they most recently uh, beat the most recent quarter here with a four cent positive surprise. Uh, that's coming off of a very ugly, be uh, ugly miss right there. So when we have that, we can see then that estimates have moved higher. We can see for the year from $1.35 and then just bumped up to $1.52. Uh, actually, the estimates for next year uh, kicked lower following that. So maybe that might be a visibility question. Those numbers might have started off just po possibly a little bit too high mm. at, at $1.70. Uh, so they've come in, but there's still year over year growth uh, for this story. And you always uh, are well advised to have doors put on the house. At least that's what I was told when mine was built. Right? I mean, you want, so. you want a way to go in and out other than the window. You know, I'm throwing out the window very very frequently. Well, there's that issue, but Masonite, they mm. supply the doors. Right. right, Masonite supplies the doors, and if we take a look at them, Zach's rank number one, strong buy, A for growth style score, B for value as well, only trading at 18 times. We can see the stock moved up pretty big right here, uh, so let's take a look at the reason why. Um, the stock actually missed last quarter, last at, at the last report, so they missed by three cents, but uh, you know, Wall Street doesn't really care so much about what you did. It's what are you going to do for me going forward? Going forward. Yeah. And at the time when they reported this miss, they also guided higher. They expected, uh, they expect to see uh, earning Wall Street numbers now, not necessarily the Zacks numbers because we uh, go back in and strip out right. uh, those options, expense, things like that. Mm -hmm. So they're expecting 410 to 460, where the consensus for Wall Street was looking at 372. And that is a big, you know, lift up there. So even at the midpoint there, you know, 435, mm -hmm. uh, you're looking at basically 60 cents more, so almost a 20% bump. That's why that stock moved up. And we can see the estimates have, you know, jumped from 356 to 424. And then again, also for next year, uh, 439 to 520. So. So is, correct me if I'm wrong, but with these two stocks in your viewfinder, it seems to me that you're pretty confident that home building is going to be okay this year. Right. And, you know, and it, that brings me up to my final point, Terry. You know, it, the, I think the, you know, the home builders are positioned well. I think there's going to be more you know, home buying. Uh, you know, the supply chain is going to benefit as well as the names that, that do the home building. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get really confirmation of this idea on March 16th, which is one day before the 17th. Very good, Terry, but we also call it St. Patrick's Day. I catch on, don't right? I? Yeah, well, I, I knew you were there for yeah, it. Yeah. But on March 16th, we're going to have uh, the housing starts and permits numbers come out. Okay. Now, I, you know, the permits is anyone can go out and buy a permit you know, to, to build a new home. Mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of like the forward-looking idea. But starts are much more important because you've actually started. You've put your money where your mouth is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it costs a little something to get a permit, but the starts, uh, you know, I think is, is a much more important number. So if we take a look here at the starts numbers, you know, this is over 
uh, several years here, going back to 2009. We can see that uh, it's really moved higher here, uh, and this is kind of that indicator that the, the home buyers are doing a good job. Think of also the weather of the last, you know, few weeks, few months here. Uh, those that had the permits over the last several, you know, weeks and months here, they're, they're probably going to start early because it seems like winter, at least in the Midwest, uh, has really uh, not been a, a difficult one. Mm -hmm. uh, so you could really start up uh, your, your construction early. Think also of the next Fed meeting when they hike interest rates, according to everybody <clears throat> on the street. You yeah. don't think that's going to be a negative factor you know, in I lending for these homes? Right, and I think most of that Fed hike has been priced in, and, you know, it is coming off of such a small base. You know, just a few 25 basis points isn't really going to stop someone from purchasing a new home or ordering the start of a brand new house. Mm -hmm. It is only 25 basis points. The market looks good, you know. Uh, bullish sentiment across the board so if you're going to put big money into something you might as well use leverage buy that big big house and you know you're in donald trump land here you know trump's a real estate guy mm. you know the, the the opportunity for housing prices to move you know higher over the next four years is probably just as good if not better than stock prices okay do you own either of these two i do not all right check out more stock information on our website, Zax.com. There's stock picks, commentary, stock picking strategies, and more. And all you need to do to start the process is go to the homepage, Zax.com, and you can start linking to it all from there. With Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.